Our theory of change attempts to show how the poorest countries can influence international decisions about climate change. And these range from everything from UN climate treaties, like the Paris Agreement, to regional development strategies, where nations plan for how they're going to adapt to our changing world. All of these decisions, we want the poorest countries to be able to have the most impact possible. So we've mapped a theory of what actions they can take to increase that influence. IAD has been working with the Least Developed Countries Group in the UN Climate Change Negotiations since 2001. And we've drawn on this experience to inform a theory of change that's been evolving through the years. So in 2016, I authored a discussion paper that set this out and asked for feedback from researchers, from government officials, from the general public to shape our thinking. So the feedback we received was very constructive and I highlighted two things. The first, was to draw out the importance of some of our, the theory of change aspects, like how important it is that governments coordinate across all branches so that when they're talking about trade, when they're talking about development, when they're talking about security, everybody's talking about climate change. And the second thing it showed was some roles that we didn't include and we should really include in our theory, like, for example, the role international NGOs play, like IID, uh, in supporting the least developed countries. So now we're going to take on board the feedback, we're going to update our theory of change, and we're going to use it to inform a strategy for actions IIED is going to take from now, 2018, until 2020, when the Paris Agreement enters into force and we enter into a new era of international climate action.